Morning everyone. I'd like to chat to you about Revit families and their origin point. And what you can see on the screen over here is a is a wool object. If I click on that, you can see it's a wool, and over there we've got a family. And I'd like to have a look at what happens to this family when I change its origin. And I'll explain also how you determine or set the origin of a family, a loadable family. I'm opening that in the family editor. And we need a view where I can see my geometry. There we go. Oh, most of you will be familiar with reference planes. And usually when you open up or you start a new family from a family template, you'll find that there's a front or back or a center, left or right reference plane. There are various such reference planes. You can set the the is reference property over here and you can see that you've got some predefined ones, left, right, front, center, back, bottom, etc. Those are strong references. Um, for those of you that don't know what strong, weak, and, uh, and, and not a reference means, um, it's got implications in MEP families, whether they snap into um, patterns. And when you place families within a file, whether you're able to place them uh, with reference to these reference planes or whether you have to tab to them or, the, or whether you are not able to select them at all. And those three instances or those three cases would be represented by strong references, weak references and not a reference respectively. However, all these other named ones, they are uh, strong references by default. So don't be confused and think that this is a very special reference plan and because it's called center, left or right, it defines the origin. It doesn't. What defines the origin is if it is set as such to say defines origin. Checkbox marked. That or checked. That means that this reference plane defines the origin obviously in the X value because it's vertical. The other reference plane over there you can say is set not to define the origin. So also a named uh, reference plane but it doesn't define the origin whereas this extra reference plane that I drew up here does define the origin. All right. Now if I were to have multiple reference planes and I choose one of the horizontal ones and I set that to define the origin, notice what happens to the original reference plane. It loses that property. So you're only allowed to attach the is origin property to one reference plane which is horizontal, one reference plane which is vertical and their intersection will define the origin. Let's save this family or we'll just load this family in, into the project. Um, I'm not going to bother saving the changes and we can just overwrite the existing version. Can you see how the family shifted? Now that family has shifted because we've changed the origin of the reference and that is important. So what can you achieve with this? Obviously when you're modeling up a family you want to have the origin correctly assigned. But secondly, maybe you want to have the ability to move families around by changing their origins en masse within a floor plan if that suits you. I'm not sure whether that's really relevant but that's one other scenario that I can think of. So some of you, like me, might then wonder, okay, we've got these reference planes and vertical and horizontal reference planes have a meaning and that's great. However, we should know that we can draw reference planes at angles. Not reference lines, reference planes. Reference lines don't have that property at all. So that defines the origin. That defines the origin. That's the intersection. Ah, oh, but look, this reference plane is cutting both those other reference planes at different points and it allows us to switch on the defines origin. What does that mean? Does it remove this property? No. Has it removed that property? No. Well, I can tell you already, it has no meaning whatsoever. Let's see, if I uncheck the defines origin, that one is unchecked, that one is unchecked, this one is checked, that one is checked. So by definition, that point there should now define the origin. Let's load this into the project and see what happens. 
nothing okay so it doesn't have a proper origin so it keeps its old one so just remember that that inclined reference planes has although it does expose the property defines origin it has no meaning for them so one horizontal one vertical reference plane those define the origin and that's it well i hope you've enjoyed this short video blog and that it helps you to understand the origin of um, families better so that you can define families with the correct origin point to your wishes um, and remember if you need any help using Revit uh, contact us here at Micrographics and we will assist you until next time enjoy Reviting <laughs>